Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more okay. Pillars of Eternity in the pit. No, not the Pet of the Damned, the Triple Crown difficulty settings. Sorry. Um, so we're currently exploring Raedric's Hold Dungeons and we still have at least two different places to go. But I will need a rest beforehand because Eder did take a bit of a beating. So we're gonna rest. And we can actually swap our accuracy bonuses to something more fitting, like the vessels that we're finding here. That's all we can get. Yes, it is. And rest. Okay. Yeah. Now, with everybody healed, let's see what we find over here. Uh, let me send my rogue, because he's the yes. sneakier one. Reverence and ghouls. Okay, is that it? Uh, okay, so if... I mean, there's probably a lot more here. But let's position it there over here. Hey. Everybody else is safe where they are, mostly. What? And what? let's pull. What is it? Pew! 56 damage, just like that. Wonderful shot. Let's wait for them to come to us. They're gonna go for it there, as usual. Just start smacking. What? <laughs> he disengaged for some reason, okay. Okay, where are you going? Oh, I forgot to swap his weapon. Okay, so shoot. And I will want a painful interdiction on my friends. And you guys can just start smacking as well. Throw some books, why not? One and two. How may I so much for you? Okay. I'm gonna go get a little bit closer and throw out the holy radiance. Oof. Lovely. Might as well beat them with my stick as well. From Durance here, 26. Crushing, nice. They did not activate the, the hey. Acid Blood or whatever what? that name is. Well. Okay. Flight. Flight so what did we have behind door number one? Ourselves. This looks kind of like a laboratory. Blood and flecks of dried flesh encrust the, rem the restraints. The tank is warm to the touch. The glass vibrates with the bubbling fluid inside. Get some copper coins. Potion of minor regeneration, sure. Let's go to the right. Well. This, uh, I don't trust this. As you wish. Oh. Osria. Yeah. So about that. Hey. <laughs> I don't remember how tough she is. I'm guessing she's not that tough, probably. Given the enemies we've found so far. Really? This isn't a container? That's disappointing. Nothing is tra ah, there were traps over here, but not over here apparently. Good. Camping supplies, cool. I did need one of those. I'll see it done. It's finished. Really, man? All that for a hide armor? <laughs> okay. What is up here? Now, I'm kind of guessing here, uh, but I think I also remember that Osria is a spellcaster. I mean, she, she does look the part, right? Even by the description given of her of everyone we've met so far. What I'm thinking is, should I try to use some traps? 
I'm not sure how they're gonna play out. Okay, but I am gonna keep my people back here. What is it? Take out uh, fast mode, and we are gonna speak to yeah. her using a dare. Nobody's getting hostile. There is a flesh construct. Yeah, she's definitely a spellcaster. Yo, what's up, lady? A woman. Caught mid-step across the room, turns her head to face you. Long curls of black hair frame her face, one side of which is flecked with some green liquid. The gaze she sets upon you holds an eerie intensity. She looks like a human. More interruptions. The woman sets down the book she holds, smiling faintly. What an interesting time we've been having of late. So many uninvited guests. Oh, what? There's also a spellcaster skeleton? That's not good. I suppose I have you to thank for all the damage to my work. It took time to get those people back on their feet, you know. Osria frowns. What is it you're doing here? <laughs> um... Let me see. It looks like I can try to deceive her. Oh, she has a cat. Uh, I can go the sarcastic route, which is not bad. Uh, let's see what happens if we can if we can deceive her. Lord Redrick sent me to check on your progress. Osru regards you coldly for a long moment. At last, she throws her arms up in the air in frustration. Of course he did. I thought I'd have a few days at least before he resumed his growling. If Lord Raedric wishes to see swifter progress, then perhaps he might deign to provide the materials I need. Does he think he is the only one growing impatient? I am gifted with this, she gestures to the room. Pitiful little laboratory, and he expects miracles. And meanwhile, that old wretch, that useless priest, has the all of the upper keep to himself. What does he provide? Superstition and useless advice. She lets out an angry gust of air. Very well then, look upon my progress. I have made what use of Kolsch's filthy, uh, filthy cohorts I was able. Tell Redrick that I will have more useful information for him once I have been given adequate time for study, she snorts. If you're lucky, he won't hang you in my place. Hmm. Okay, so we have some options here, perhaps. How can I... Yes, as you wish. Let me see what I can do. Uh, my fear is, if I drop a trap somewhere in here, and they can... There's a lot of people, Jesus Christ. And they consider that action as hostile, I'm going to have a very bad time. So, maybe just... Maybe just shoot her and, <clears throat> and funnel them over here. Although a trap would be lovely, wouldn't it? Okay, let, let's let's maybe play this safe. Hey. Okay, so you get over here. Uh, you guys go into stealth. And what does the flame reveal? Okay. And mostly, I just need this hit to land, and if it lands. I think we're in a very good shape to maybe kill it off without she doing much damage. Without her doing much damage, I should say. I gotta move up. How how far up? This is enough. Okay. Wait, before you shoot, before you shoot. <laughs> Let me get a beer in or an ale for two damage reduction. That's gonna help. <clears throat> I'm also gonna eat a savory pie. It should be yeah. enough. Okay. Blind the bitch! Pew! 44 damage, blinded for 12.5 seconds. Swap for the bow, let them come, and let the party start. Yep, yep, yep. We're, we're in fighting mode, my friends. We're in fighting mode. Okay. This guy's trying to knock somebody down. Woo! We're gonna have some damages here. Oh, she has spirit shield. 
I'm gonna have to try and move out of the way, I think, because this skeleton looks to be coming from me. Okay, let's get damage reduction on everybody here. And I'm gonna get a chill fog in this general area. Yes. Okay. Let them come. You start shooting people. And you are fine tanking his. Okay, move back. Just smack. What is she throwing? Okay, oh! Okay, um, do this. Okay, the chill fog went out. What else can I really do here to help? I'm not sure if they're immune to this. Hmm, maybe let's just stack a chill fog on this area. Uh, you are healing, I'm gonna get closer. And I'm gonna start with this and then a painful interdiction. Yes. Uh, oops, like this. Okay, good. Now, back up. What? I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Hmm. Okay, hit this area. Chill fog number two went out. Books. Let's get some books going here. I'm fully healed up. Start shooting. Oh, more missiles are coming. Let me try and back up a bit. Okay, it seems we are doing a nice job at killing the people over here. Uh, let's move back, or actually let's throw one of these in her that... Is that a fireball? You bitch! Move, <laughs> move back, move back, move back. Oh god, my priest is gonna get fireballed. <clears throat> oh, she killed pretty much all of them. Her own friends, that's that's not smart on your part. Okay, let's try and kill that guy. Actually, reload your Harvelist and just stand still. You go for that one, except I want a Phantom. Man, if I could get a Phantom, like, close to her, it would be awesome. Okay, you need to heal. You can say where you are. Phantom? Good enough. Okay, swap, shoot. Okay, back, back up, back up. We're still stuck, man. Okay, go for her. She has spirit shield for a long while. I don't want to move into the chill fog. But I, I, I think we are okay. Let me get some passive healing going on here. Everybody shoot this guy. And once I can, I will go for her. What? Yeah, she's getting damaged. Lovely. Okay, you can come over here to heal everybody. Okay, he's coming for me. My ghost is beating on her. Standard. Lovely. Are you engaged? Yes, you are engaged. The guy is just very, very large. He's blinded, though. So much for you. Let's get some extra damage. I kind of forgot about that. We still have damage reduction for 15 seconds. Okay, okay she's stunned still. Nice. This guy is almost dead. That guy is casting some, some dangerous spells there. I think we need to spread. So, you go over there, you go over there. And you shoot the guy. Another fireball. Well, at least he's injured. He's swapping his spells around. Okay. Bitch. Come here. Come here, bitch. I'm gonna mess you up. Watch for you. 
There we go. Shoot! Why am I reloading? Okay, she's dead. Phew. Okay, we handled it. We handled it. Nice fight. Oh, the black cat is friendly. Ooh, There's hidden compartment. Bad. We have a bunch of stuff that doesn't matter. What does she have? How Probably have some it? spellcaster stuff. I'm just making some room here. Uh, okay. What do you have? Some good stuff? We have a rusted iron cell, uh, iron cell key. But I think that was for the, the guy we just freed. And we also have a grimoire. Why am I getting... Sp ah, the cat. What did she have? Ooh, I like this grimoire. Oh, yes, I do. Fleet feet. Eh. It's not bad. Console Hot's Corrosive Siphon. This is also not bad. An area of effect that drains corrode damage as endurance. Corrode is the least resisted effect or element. But Fortitude is kind of tough because I'm probably going to try and aim this at the front line. But still a good spell. A Crackling Bolt, 32 to 53 shock damage. It bounces, but for less damage. Bounces up to 3 times, 42 meters, god damn. And then we have our Fireball for 27 to 37 burn damage, accuracy versus reflex. This is a, a very nice pickup. We even have the binding web. So, uh, at this point, my question would be... Why would I use my grimoire if I can just use hers, right? I can even put some more spells in. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, I think I like this. And then I'll check out what I actually want to, you know, spend some money on. But these are all good pickups. This one, not so much maybe, but... But this one is quite cool. Touch, right? Area of effect, target plus two foe jump targets. Range, two meter jump. 21, foe jump targets. Uh, to the nearest enemy. Yeah, okay. This, this one doesn't really matter. The other stuff is actually quite useful. So we will be using our Grimoire here. Okay. Now, what else does well. this evil bitch have? This is considered stealing, really. <laughs> Hello, Black Cat. At first, you think this poor creature is diseased, for its black fur seems to have fallen off its hide in patches. But when the cat turns to investigate the fly on the wall, you note that, enti that an entire section of its ribcage is open to the air. Some of its tail has rotted away altogether to reveal a few jagged vertebrae. Ugh. This doesn't seem to bother the cat much. It lets out a thrilling purr and rubs against your shin. Pet the cat. You spend a few pleasant moments scratching the cat between the ears, Black fur comes away in clumps. Uh, pick up the cat. You pick up the surprisingly light and unexpectedly pointy creature and it purrs contentedly in your arms. Okay. So we can just swap uh, our companions here. I'm gonna sneeze. Sorry about that. Sneeze done. Um, we can just do this. If we want to swap, although, as you wish, I mean my piggy is more visible, but I do like the cat's eyes. Keeping an eye out. You can keep the kitty for a while. Okay, so this is considered stealing. I don't know why, but it shouldn't affect anything. The Dirtwood Part Six, the Saint's Warden and Wayland's Legacy, sure. 
Oh, a fine stiletto, which nobody is really using. But I guess I can pick it up. And the scroll of defense. Now, what is this? This looks like a button. It doesn't look like a container. Oh, I like that. That was very cool. What's over here? Oh, way up. Okay. So, I think this is pretty much all of this region. We can go to the keep kitchen. We can go to the lower ramparts. Maybe the kitchen should be the least hostile area? A Let's plane. see. I, I do remember, or at least I think, that simply killing everybody in the area is the best choice for experience and items, especially because I think they drop a lot of items that can actually sell for, you know, a fair amount of gold. So it's not bad to just pick them up. What is it? Okay, choke point in case we find somebody. Red guard. Archer, spell right. I'm not sure how confident I am about doing this. What are my levels looking like? Pfft, still a ways away. Of course. Okay, so this looks to be like the main area. The roast goat smells only faintly of smoke and burnt fat. Hunks of meat have been carved from the cult carcass. Okay, let's, let's go up. See what kind of enemies we can find, if we find enemies at all. Oh, what's this? Baratheon priest robes. Ah, right. I think we can disguise ourselves. Okay, so wait. We have six. Yeah, we do have six, but we only need five anyway. A fine quarter staff. Hey. The problem with this is if I equip these robes, I pretty much have no damage reduction whatsoever. Oh, why am I using this? I shouldn't be using this. I should be using this. Yeah. Zero damage reduction, <laughs> but more attack speed. Um... Yeah, I'm not gonna use those. All right then. If we're gonna fight, we're gonna fight, and that's all. What have we here? A helmet and padded armor and a fine great sword. Now. They they are not hostile. My question is, are they not hostile because they haven't seen me yet and I can kind of talk to them with the robes? Hey. Okay, let, 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 let's see what happens. Okay, that happens. <laughs> uh, this high priest, I was not expecting him, kind of concerns me. Let's see if we can back away. Because those look like simple... Oh, he didn't come. Okay. Oh, if he doesn't come, I'm not worried. Oh, God. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Hey. Okay. We should be fine. Reckless Assault. Blam, bitch. <laughs> One shot. Okay, knock him down as well. I don't think he can see me. Okay, so the Acolytes are pretty whatever. Wait, is he in combat? No, no, he's not. Hello, my friends. Let's see how much you like fight, fight. getting one shot as well. 
This could be awesome potentially. Hello. Okay, <laughs> he's not casting anything, which feels kind of weird. Oh, you bitch! He's casting withdraw. Okay, he's casting halt. Wow, he resisted both knockdowns. Of course, I'm stuck. For actually quite a long time. Yeah, but you see, all of this means gold. Hello. And we do need gold. Hello? Hello. Okay. So, more acolytes are welcome. Uh, let's just not kind of suicide our way in. We can stay over here. And we can pull with you. Have my arbalist ready? Yes. yes. Hi. <coughs> Blam. Okay. Oh, he's, he's alone. Oh, you poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like this. Keeping an eye out. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, what else do we have? Another friend here. I think I'm just going to pull him over there as well. Hello. 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 Hello, dude. Jesus, shut up. Really? He's coming alone as well? Oh, you're going to have a bad time, my friend. <laughs> Following your lead. It just feels so good. I know it's a simple thing, but it feels good. And what does the <laughs> flame reveal? Oh, don't don't go like that. Who did I spot? A priestess? Where? Oh, there. She seems to be alone. Oh, god damn it! Oh no no no! Actually, actually, I can just pull you. No 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 no! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! No! <laughs> Shoot him! Shoot him! There! Oh, there you go! Stab in the butt! Does he bring friends? He does not appear to be bringing friends. Oh, he does bring friends. Let's open up on the guy. Blam! <laughs> He's only injured. That bitch. Did not die. Got knocked down. Good. Although, not that much effect. Knock him down again. What? He's blinded and prone. Oh, this guy's tanky, man. Yeah, my phantom deals, deals cold damage. <laughs> there we go. I think these paladins drop some pretty cool items. Or at least like some nice armor. Yeah, there we go. They drop heavy armor. I'm not sure if it's better than what I currently have. Oof. Yeah, man, it's kind of tough, isn't it? So this is unenchanted, and this one is enchanted. 12 DR, 15 versus slashing, 15 versus piercing. And the enemies here seem to be equipped with swords, mostly. So I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to do... Uh, compare these two. Wait, why is this one magical? Oh, it's not... It looked magical for some reason. Okay, put it there. <clears throat> All right then. It there the tank, looking good. Hello, priestess. How are you? Uh, you guys are sneaking. Yes, you are. Yes. Pew. Oh, she's healing already. That seems a bit hasty. Oh. 
These guys are casting hard-hitting spells. Let's murder them. How hard are you gonna get shot? Not very hard, actually. Which sucks. Okay. Let's try and knock him down. And let's book these people. Well. Uh, let's cast Painful Interdiction. That hurt. Oh, they're both going for healing. Wow. Uh, knock him down, please. Come on. Okay, he's dead. Good. Go for this one. Why are you casting Halt? Halt doesn't help you. Look at that, you're blinded. Oh, he's casting Iconic Project... Well, he was trying to cast Iconic Projection. I'll see what I can find. Okay, so far, so good. Very manageable. There is a single priest over here, which we yes. are going to nuke to oblivion. Or at least that is my plan. Leave it to me. Why? What's happening here? Are you reloading? So much. <laughs> he got knocked down. Oh man, I love that crit. Okay, swap to melee, go for him. Try to knock him down again. Swap to the bow, blind. There we go. Okay. The threadbare robes in the closet smell of incense. Lord. I shall be discreet. Where there's a pick, there's a finished. Way. Potion of power. A nice potion of power. And a potion of spirit shield. All cool stuff. Nothing else really of interest here. Let's just continue exploring. Um, <clears throat> let's see how much company she keeps. Well, let's turn off fast mode. It's only two of them. Hey. Okay. It's casting halt. Shoot! Oh, bitch slapped. Knock him down. Stop the bow. Blind this guy in the back. Dude, that hurts, man. Uh, knock this one down. Because he is trying to heal. Okay, good. Wow, he's still healed! What a bitch! Don't, don't, don't cast that again. I don't want that getting cast again, please. That hurts my friends. Can we interrupt them? God damn. Yeah, it does hit hard. For sure. Hello. Okay, what do we have? Hello? Scrolled note. I got your gift. I can't believe someone actually wrote down that kind of thing on parchment. I left something for you in the chapel. Careful not to go digging in the wrong skull again. Ooh. On the wrong skull, there's like a... Something you can pick up or interact with, I mean. This is just lore. Hey. What's over here? I'll see it done. Oh, wait. This is a very high difficulty lockpick. I can use my lockpicks. I'm just curious if there is a key for it. Of course. Because if there's a key, I'll just use the key. A priestess. Okay, so I think we're going to all stand back here. 
And Mr. Eder is gonna pull okay. with his crossbow. Is she accompanied? Oh, there's another um, heavy armor piece there. For Aethus! For Aethus! Pew! Don't you dare stop me before I can get back. Okay, thank you. I'm stuck over here. Yeah, I'm stuck, that's fine. Come at me, bitch. Kill! <laughs> Does not understand the concept of bait. Is what's happening here. Yes. Keeping an eye out. Okay, let's pull the heavy armor guy. Pew. Same deal. I'm gonna try and blind him straight away. And painful interdiction as well. It's a good shot. I think I missed. No, I hit. Very low damage though. He has 15 damage reduction. God damn. Okay. Just keep at it. Well. Let's see if we can knock him down. Nope. Try again. Still alive. They actually look quite cool. Yep. No knockdowns. But he also can't really hit it there. We're gonna have a phantom to flank him with. And he is gonna die. Wait, what? 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 My phantom got cancelled for some reason. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, heavy armor. Okay. This is for you. Uh, let's see. Are you better off with this? Yeah, it's it's the same reasoning I had for... Um, for it there. It, it's just better right now, I think. Oh. If I find oh. myself facing... Uh, fighting enemies that deal a lot of crushing damage, then I would swap to the Brigadine. But right now, I think this is my best choice. I'll see it done. Okay, we can lockpick this easily. It's finished. Looks like an empty room. And maybe this is the skull they were talking about. Oh, Nedmar! This frail old priest is hunched over a table, surrounded by scattered scrolls and parchment, examining their contents with the aid of a thick monocle. He glances up as you approach, blinking roomy eyes. More visitors, then. You're not one of the acolytes, or the guards for that matter. His voice is a dry, quiet rasp. Which makes you an intruder to the cl at the least. Kolsch put you up to this, I suppose. Yes, that would be him. Singing young men to dash themselves against the keep's defenses. He shakes his head. Would that my sermons could draw such fervor. Still, you are here. What is it you want? Giacomo is safe. He asked me to tell you about a carving you gave him. Nedmar's eyes widen. With sudden vigor, he rushes forward to grasp your arm. Oh, thank the gods, thank you. I did not think anyone could... That is, I feared... He shakes his head. I did not want him to meet the Pale Knight so soon. Nedmar pulls away, collecting himself. Here, perhaps this will serve as a reward. He pulls a large iron key from the pocket of his robe and hands it to you. This will open a door in the scriptorium, he points west. Probably the one that we couldn't pick. And from there you can reach a chapel and Lord Redrick without encountering quite so many guards. Take this too. I have little wealth to offer. Better to give something of use. We gain two scrolls of protection. Okay. I would entreat you before you go. Despite his shortcomings, Lord Redrix follows the gods with obedience, and he has Gilded Vale's best interest in mind. It may be that, with time, he can achieve what he desires. Please, consider this before you turn to violence. What does this key open? It is a master key. Oh! Nedmar wrings his hands as he speaks. It will not open every door, but it will permit you access to the stairs leading down into the Lord's Chapel. It will also open the doors along the keep's main hall, but you will face heavy fighting if you go that way. 
Well, I do want heavy fighting. You do not have much time. Whatever you intend, whatever your intent, Lord Redrick will soon discover that one of his prisoners has escaped. And then you will lose the element of surprise. I thought you'd favor Kolsk as Lord of Redrick's Hold. I favor him as he is, a man of vision. But Kolsk has a hunger in him for rule, even if to good purpose. He is not led by his faith. Still, he is my friend, and I am willing to assist Kolsk in restoring divine favor to the lands of Gilded Vale, should Lord Redrick fall, that is. Okay. Well, goodbye for now. But, maybe this means that we can rest freely in this area without, you know, using up camping supplies. I still have two of them, so I'm not actually in a poor position. Ooh. Oh, really? Everybody's full? Okay, so wait. Let me send some of this scrap over here. I'm not going to use this. And you as well. And the rest is fine. Okay. So what is this? I think this is just a strictly better piece of gear for myself, right? 15% recovery speed, but it gives me 5 damage reduction. This might might actually be worth the 15% the recovery speed. Just in case we get hit by something. We don't get, like, strictly one shot. <laughs> okay. What else do we have? A book of lore... Oh, this might be interesting. Wait, because it speaks of skulls. Behold thou faithful the visage of thy transformation. Fear not the journey when the portal opens. Become one with the wheel with glad heart and cheerful countenance. For the doorway shall open for all in their time. Neither the rich nor influential, neither kings nor rulers, neither the strong nor powerful can escape its embrace. Berath will usher thee through the doorway and thou wilt return to life Thy mortal life begun anew. There goest the cycle, there goest life. There thou goest also. Thou shalt approach the door, the inevitable shall approach thee. Do not turn back on the portal, do not turn back on new life. Walk the path and welcome change or face the night, for he walks the road with thee and will guide all to their destination. Thou mortal, the skull thou wilt become. Thou close it off, the key thou shalt turn. Thou sealed, the threshold thou shalt cross. Is this a hint about the pressing the right skull and wrong skull? I'll keep this one in my inventory for when we go to that area. This is just uh, his bedroom, it seems. Lore and the potion of minor recovery. Sure. Uh, let me just check if this indeed opens up that door. I'm guessing it does. Shh. Yeah, unlock with burnished steel key. Okay, so it, it simply leads down. Okay. I don't want to go down just yet. Uh, I want to see how resting here works. Just close this door so nobody interrupts us. Uh, I need to rest. But surely you don't mean to... Nedmar shifts uncomfortably looking out towards the hallway. Very well, I cannot ask you to brave the dungeons when you are not at your fittest. Rest here for a few hours and I will ensure no one, in no one enters. Okay, cool, yes. Let's rest. You know, there are accounts oh. of watchers in all of the regions I've visited. If the adventuring life doesn't work out for you, you could always read souls for coin, <laughs> give people advice, tell them which family they're related to, and whom they should duel for past offenses. Yeah, I don't really want to become a fortune reader. I'm glad you find this so amusing. Sorry, it seems I'm not very good at raising spirits, kind of winces. That was unintentional. 
I wasn't trying to be, you know, rude to you. I was just, hey. <laughs> I was just commenting. Yeah, okay, so we still keep our camping supplies. So this is a place where we can permanently rest and, Keeping you know, an eye out. go for fights, come back and replenish. Okay, so this will be the end of our episode. Uh, we've cleared out a fair bit of this area. We've cleared out the entire dungeon in the lower floor. And there's also the... Um, well, the area around the keep kitchen that also needs to be cleared. But I expect a lot more fights in this entire area. And this area seems to hold the, the puzzle for the skulls. All of that for the next episode. For now, that's it, guys. As usual, thank you so much for being here with me, watching some Pillars of Eternity. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, anything at all, leave a comment below. If you want to get notified about videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe. It's a free and easy way to support my channel. And videos are coming out every single day. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.